today with another video but before I get started on all the details please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below also if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn those notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my videos so the unit that I will be showing you guys today is from genius wigs this is what the box looks like and this is their wet and wavy wig now this is supposed to be an upgraded version of their wet and wavy this one is in a bob style it has the pre-bleached knots and then this also has a pre-plugged hairline and you also get the hd lace this unit is also supposed to be thicker and fuller and i mean 180 percent density that's already thick so <laughs> we are going to see but before i get into that i do want to show you the lace differences you guys have probably seen me you know compare different laces before on my channel but they did send some over so i do want to show you guys what it looks like this is just regular brown lace right here you guys can see that you know it's a little bit lighter on my head i will probably have to add some type of tint and it also feels a little bit thicker is their hd lace so this lace, it looks a little bit lighter. Oh, let me make sure I get it right. Now this lace looks to be a bit lighter, but it also looks to blend into my skin. Like I can definitely tell that once I add some type of adhesive it's going to melt in and I'm just gonna hold them up side by side. So this is a brown lace again, and this is their lace. I gotta make sure I get it right, child. So you guys let me know if you can tell the difference. This is not a good depiction. I'll make sure to put some arm video up of what it looks like sprayed on my skin. Um, and I'll make sure to insert that in somewhere because me holding it up to my head is, yeah. It's not really doing a good job. But this is what the unit looks like straight out of the package. This hair feels very soft. It feels really soft. It definitely has like a natural color to it. Then it comes with your two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, a comb in the back, your adjustable straps, and it also comes with your elastic band. Tell so right away that the knots are bleached on this wig. Y'all look at that. How good that looks on my hand. That looks really good. So far, so far, if a baby this is what the hairline looks like y'all look at that hairline that hairline looks so good so i just recently did another wet and wavy wig and i had to go and pluck out so much hair but i am happy that this one comes pre-plucked when they said pre-plucked they meant pre-plucked so i'm happy about that and then let's get into this parting space area you get a very good amount Ooh, you get a very good amount of parting space. Of course, the further you get to the side, then you start to run into tracks. But so far, so good. This is looking really good. I appreciate the hairline being pre puck They bleached the heck out of these knots. I'm not going to have to go in and do anything extra. Yeah, this is definitely nice. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of heat to it just to kind of get these little bends out from it sitting in the packaging for so long. And then I'm going to, of course, wet this unit up so you guys can see what it looks like when it is curled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into styling and then I will be back with my final thoughts.
am done styling this wet and wavy wig and it came out so pretty but I just want to say that the star of the show is this lace I mean don't get me wrong this hair is beautiful but y'all this lace right here this lace right here this lace right here like I'm speechless because this lace looks so good. Um, I could have went in with a darker cap because obviously you can see a little bit of my cap right here. Um, but I can always put some extra powder right there. But y'all, mm, mm, mm. no baby hairs, no nothing. I think I still have a little bit of the adhesive spray. I tried to clean it up a little bit, but y'all, this looks so good and so natural. I didn't go in and do any other plucking. This is how it comes. This is how it comes. Look at that parting space. That parting space is on point. I have nothing negative to say when it comes to this lace. They did a really good job with bleaching the knots. Yeah, they did that. Hair is really pretty while it is straightened. I do feel like you can get away with wearing this a little bit more straightened out than some of the other ones that I have reviewed. Now, what I will say is you have to keep in mind that with these type of wet and wavy styles that you can straighten out, it is going to become more frizzier and you are going to have to go in more during the week and add some heat to it. Some people may not be a fan of that. Can you press it out like really sleek? You probably could if you turned your flat iron up very hot and take smaller and take smaller pieces. But I ain't had time for all that. I just kind of straightened it out enough to where you guys can see what it is going to look like. You can even straighten this out and put this in like a low ponytail. With the way this hairline is, it is going to look super natural if you did that. And I noticed a lot of shedding while I was straightening this hair. And I also didn't notice a lot of shedding when I cut the lace off. During the styling process of me adding the products to bring the curls to life, I did not notice a lot of shedding also. Now, with this hair, what I will say is it takes a bit longer for it to revert. It did not revert very quickly. I had to keep kind of going in and brushing through the hair. So it takes a while. So you just want to be a little bit patient. Also, I noticed in the very front area, it did not wave up as much as the other hair. I'm trying to see exactly where I'm looking at. But yeah, right here in the front, I kept adding like water and kind of scrunching it up and it just did not wave up like the rest of the hair. So I did have to go in and cut off a few little pieces because they were a little bit more straighter than I wanted it to be. Like I noticed a little bit of a straight piece back here. And also on this side, just right up in this area, there are a few pieces that probably need to be scrunched up a lot more or maybe I should have added more product. And speaking of product, I did use my olive oil mousse and that definitely helped to combat the frizziness and flyaways. Use this spray because this dries down very quickly and you don't need a lot of it. A little bit definitely goes a long way and I never notice like flakiness with it even when I use other products. But yeah, besides me cutting off a few little pieces, it also took a long time to dry this down. Like I was diffusing forever. That's what it felt like. And I still did not get it like 100% dry. Right up back in here, I definitely could dry down a bit more. But for the most part, it's about 90% dry. So it's fine with me. The length on this is perfect. Of course, you guys know I love me a good bob. And 12 to 14 inches is usually what I prefer when it comes to bobs because I like for it to sit like right here at my shoulder. It feels really good on my head. Even though this is 180% in density, it does not feel super heavy. You can definitely wear this for every day. Um, could you wear this glueless? You probably could, especially if you wanted to add a wig grip underneath. But for some real, real meltdown action and to truly get all of this lace laid, I would definitely go in and melt this down. That's just something that I would do just because it looks so good and it looks so realistic. If you don't want to wear this in the middle part, you don't have to. You guys seen how much parting space that you can use on the side. I mean, you are good either way. You could do a flip over and I mean, just to think that the hairline comes like this ready to go, you're going to be good to go. Overall, guys, I think this is a great unit. In my opinion, I do feel like this is probably 
mm, do I want to say it? I would say that this is probably one of the better wet and wavy styles that I have done because of course when the lace is popping, the hair is on point. I mean, you just cannot go wrong. So yeah. This is one I would definitely grab. So if you are interested in this unit, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below once again. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.